We've got a real treat for you guys today. It's not the treat it was intended to be. Sadly, uh, we had some problems with DOSBox and running the DOS CD Deluxe version of Mario is Missing. But as you can see, we have no trouble working the Super Nintendo version. So, you guys really, really, really better enjoy this because I'm not going to put myself through this torture for no reason. Oh, look at that! It's not the real Luigi! Oh, damn it. Hold on, Corwin. You're not recording. I forgot. Hey, guys. Keep it down, please. I have a voice. There we I go. Think. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I have a voice now. Woo! You're my invisible little gaming friend. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to make it clear that although I might sound clearer in this recording, I am not actually the one playing. If you oh, want yeah. to hear the guy that's playing, listen to the guy that's talking through the Xbox Live headset. I, I forgot to introduce us. If anybody that knows us, I'm X Factor. And I'm Weasel, and I'm not playing this game. As you can clearly see, yeah, this is, looks like a bad hack already. And yet this is a professional game. How did they get away with this crap, really? Yeah. Uh, I don't know, software tool works never seem to release anything, like, worth anything. I can't figure out how to get a hold of that dude to talk to him. Um, hmm. I assume you already tried mashing random buttons. Yeah, that's kind of what I've been doing. I know it's hard to tell just by looking, but... You at least run? No. Um, 
take the artifact back to them. Sorry, cars. And then once they have the artifact, they'll ask you a few questions to make sure you have the real one. Apparently they've experienced a lot of fakes. Oh, this person's not missing coins. What are we missing here? Oh, you don't need a gladiator sphere either. Okay. Unfortunately, you can only return specific artifacts to specific info boxes, and there's really not... Oh, I see. There are little icons there. Okay. Are you still there, Weasel? Yeah. Oh. You just trying not to interrupt? Yeah, that's basically my ammo and these kinds of things. Yeah, I agree. Derp, derp. Okay, so we need to go south to the next info box. Oh, hello, other peach. Ah, uh, now we found the trivia fountain, so we can return these bizarre random coins. I think the Trevi is the biggest and oldest amusement park. What do you guys think? Considering they've called it the Trevi Fountain in every other place in the game. Yeah. To feed the fish. Fake? What? And now she's too busy to talk to us. What a bitch. Well, I suppose it's better than a line being busy. At least they flat out tell you to your face instead of leaving the phone off the hook. Sorry, I'm too busy to talk right now. Oh, there we go. It's a fountain. It's a People. restaurant. People throw coins to make a wish. That's what I said. To get changed with one. I don't know. Ah. Now we know. But it, it is a wish. It's just a very specific one. Right. I win. This game sucks. Interface is very frustrating as well. Okay, so if we go south a little ways, we'll hit the Coliseum and then we can return the spear. Kind of surprised we haven't run into any cops. Maybe the police are afraid of dealing with a man in overalls riding a dinosaur. And carrying a gladiator spear? Yeah. I'm um, sure this is something that Maximus didn't have in mind. Hey, lady! guess at a number, and also a uh, completely obvious question. So now we just have to find where all the Koopas went, because we still don't have the... Oh, there he is, I see him, he's up north. So, despite appearances, it looks like there is a finite number of Koopas in a specific area. Oh, Luigi doesn't want to cross the street through people? Apparently not. Alright, where are we on the map here? Oh, oops. I screwed up. We need to go back and head north. Ah, uh, dead ends. Yeah, there's a few of them here. I really gotta wonder if these maps are at all, at all based on the cities they're supposed to represent. My guess is no. I can't imagine them going to that much effort when it's pretty obvious that everything we're seeing here is just the same background scrolling over and over. Although, yeah. to their credit, they did at least try to make it look like Italy. Yeah. Definitely looks like... Huh. That was slightly amusing. Oh yeah, the software tool works. One expertise, I think, was making the Koopas die in Looney Tunes ways. Oh, where am 
I going? That's a very good question. I would think south and not west, but... I think so. Not that my opinion really counts for much, does it? Well... Counts for enough. Here, I would like to return this picture of a naked man with a fig leaf over his crotch. What does this teen mean in Latin? Uh... I have no idea. I would um, guess... I was gonna say, now, I would guess Uh... That's okay, I'll cross the street and come back. I'll show you. Hey lady, I brought you a gelato. Oh, here we go. Now we have the pamphlet. And it doesn't say on here what this team means in, in Italy, in Italian, in place. That. Oh, it was Splinter! I knew that! Yoshi eat the pokey so that you can actually fit in said pipe. Yeah, that's one of the one of the sad things that you guys are missing out on here with uh, us playing the Super Nintendo version. The DOS version, they didn't have access to any of the uh, the original resources from the Super Nintendo game. So Yoshi makes this awkward sort of a bow noise whenever he tries to eat pokey. It's quite ridiculous. It's almost the, like the Chinese bootleg version of Mario in a way. Oh yeah, that is the game that spawned Luigi after all. Matter of fact, if anything, oh. it looks even creepier in the... the... The, the Mac version, because the Mac version is all high res and detailed. And... Notice also, this game does not offer a save function. It only allows for passwords. So, we'll be finishing this up later, I think. <laughs> yeah. Save states for the win. Uh, there we go. Alright, next time we'll be traveling to somewhere. Um, yeah, wherever. Say goodnight, Gracie. Whatever.